I found this note stuck to the fridge. Dad, I don't understand. What does 422 mean? Heart, Maisie. P.S. I drank your last beer. So what does it mean when you see 422 or 444 or even 420 when describing digital video? The numbers refer to chroma subsampling and it's a form of compression that is applied to the color space of a digital video signal. If you think of this color space as being split into two components, contrast and color, or more precisely luma and chroma, then chroma subsampling is simply the process of reducing part of the color or chroma component while still maintaining all of the luma component. This discarding of color takes advantage of the fact that human vision is less sensitive to the chroma component compared to the luma component, and that a reduction will therefore be invisible to the human eye. At this point, you might well ask why throw anything away at all? Well, as with all compression, it is designed to reduce the size of the video signal and to save bandwidth. Now you will see this color space with the separate luma and chroma components, usually written as YCBCR, where Y represents luma and CBCR represents chroma. If during recording there is no color information being discarded, then the luma and chroma components are equal and there is no chroma subsampling going on. The YCBCR signal is then designated 444. So where did all the fours suddenly come from? Well, this comes down to the way chroma subsampling takes place and the sample size of the chroma component compared to the always full luma component. If you imagine a sample video size of two lines with four pixels in each, then a 444 signal samples all four pixels on both lines for the full luma component, the first number four, and all four pixels on each line for the full chroma component, four and four respectively. So there is no subsampling or compression going on with a 444 signal. A 422 signal samples the full luma component of both lines, again 4, but only half of the chroma component on each line compared to the luma, 2 and 2 respectively. A 420 signal again samples the full luma component of both lines, 4, half the chroma component on the first line, 2, and no chroma component on the second line, 0. All this is going on for every line of every frame of the video signal. It is some complicated maths and honestly, you can live a life quite comfortably without ever knowing this information. But what it means practically is that 422 reduces bandwidth by a third from the full 444 signal and 420 reduces it by a half from the full signal. Significant savings when it comes to moving data around. Of course, these savings come at a cost and there are some real-world ramifications when choosing which, if any, subsampling to use on your project. I mentioned earlier that chroma subsampling is not readily noticeable to the human eye. It is, however, very noticeable to the color grading and or keying software you might be using in post-production. Any reasonably intensive grading will soon reveal the lack of color information in a 420 signal and make your grading session quite miserable. Same with keying a green or blue screen. Throwing any color information away is always unwise in this instance. Shooting a 422 image is marginal, but a 420 image will have the special effects supervisor coming around to your house in the middle of the night to question your choice of profession. So if in doubt, shoot as high a sampled sample as possible. Definitely shoot 444 if doing high-end film and TV work and for any project where there is major effects or grading work to be done. Quite often, 422 is the highest quality available with many camera and recorder combinations and it is usually more than satisfactory, especially if there's not too much heavy lifting to be done in post. If you're recording internally on your DSLR or mirrorless, then 420 might well be your only choice, so be prepared. In a nutshell, make sure your camera and recorder combination is the right one for the requirements of your project's post-production pipeline. Anyway, I hope this helps. Lots of love, Dad.